so we got our soil test results back and I'm going to start mixing stuff up and uh, mending these two beds and I'm gonna go over what we're doing based off the results from the tests so I'm mixing everything just in this wheelbarrow um, here's what ooh, we needed there you go that bottom one is three cubic foot three cubic foot of activated biochar so other than that that's all in here and what I did is I took one of the three cubic feet of activated activated biochar put it in the wheelbarrow put all my amendments on it I'm gonna mix it up um, in the wheelbarrow with a shovel and then I'll spread that out over a bed and then I'll come back in with the other two cubic foot of activated biochar spread that out and then I'll lightly rake all of that in and then we'll water it and that should be a good start and I think by the end of next week we can start planting some things in these beds So now I'm just gonna evenly spread what I mixed up around on the top and then I'll mix it in slowly um, with a rake about two or three inches down below and then we'll come back and we'll water it. So that is how I did it. Just top dressed it all, raked it in, watered it. We'll continue to water it over the next week or week and a half before we plant in it. Um, I really wanted more time to let everything digest and do its thing before we planted, but you gotta deal with the cards you dealt. So we are gonna make it work. And you can see the little clay balls throughout because topsoil in Oklahoma, which this is comprised of um, this clay so it's gonna happen 
it's pretty normal here. But now we just have the other bed to do, and then we'll start uh, filling the other ones. The other bed that's already full over here, we'll start top dressing it. And then we're gonna start filling this bed up today with logs and whatnot and, and get soil in it. All right, so bed number two has been filled and amended. I actually used a little less biochar on this one than I did the other one, because I think even off my calculations with uh, percentages, I didn't like how much was in that other one. So I'm gonna probably rake it in more. Um, so we used a little bit less on this. This has been watered once. We rewatered the other bed. We'll keep watering these. And then the long bed, we got it filled up with wood and wood chips and horse stall bedding. And the guy started to fill it with soil, but it's going to take a ton of soil. So, but it's getting there. So it's been windy for like a solid month and today is another windy day. Hopefully the sound is not, uh, too bad today and actually as you can see in the background we've had a lot of progress and uh, I'm gonna walk through and kind of show you what's been going on so I want to start with this far bed we started planting it yesterday um, we got it amended a few days ago and raked in and we planted a bunch of different peppers along here um, and then these are uh, I believe there's some sort of green bean or a bush a, a bush bean um, and then we have different cucumbers in the back. Those are market more slicing. And then these are some pickling. And then these are some pickling there. And then poblano. Uh, some different sweet peppers, like salad peppers. And then Anaheim. And then jalapeno, 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 jalapeno. That one's sad looking. Let's see what's going on here. That one might be dying. I don't know. We're going to have to figure that one out. It's been so windy. We were planting this okra yesterday. And we had two just snap in half when we were planting them because of how windy it's been. I mean, it has literally been just crazy winds for a solid month. And like no rain at all. But we do have some plants in the ground. And um, I'm not going to lie. The plants we had going in the tent because we didn't have the temperatures and humidity regulated, I lost a lot of them. So I brought in some stunt plants. Those jalapenos over there, those pepper plants, those are stunt plants. I was lucky enough to get a hold of Urban Agrarian, which is just a couple blocks south of us that way. Um, and they had some certified organic plants that are saving my ass this season. So, but over here, this bed's starting to get filled. Um, all the fabric got done yesterday. I still think we're gonna fight grass in this one, but um, the wood's been put in there, wood chips in there, horse poop in there, started to fill it with soil. And then the boards for the trellis have been put up. And so the bed needs to be filled and the trellis put in and um, that's done. And we're gonna keep planting. I'm probably gonna plant some today and I'm going to come actually back through and try to brace some of the stuff, some little pieces of bamboo or something, because it's just been so windy. And then we're going to start on weed blocking between the rows and wood chips. And then we're going to start on probably making some compost piles. So it is finally coming together. Here's my string from yesterday. It's got a screw on each end. And I... Put a screw in here, put a screw in down there, measure from the edge to make sure it's straight, tie a string to it, and then I have a straight row of peppers. Did the same thing with the okras. And we did those a foot from each side and they're two foot apart in the middle. And then we'll come back through and we'll have some low growing stuff along this edge here. Um, things like uh, lettuce, kale, bok choy, stuff like that. And then I might put some shady stuff in here maybe another try another run of bok choy that doesn't like the heat and the sun but once this okra grows up it would shade it and so this middle part right here could be good for some things like that so we're going to keep building on it and working on it it is coming together and uh we'll keep updating as we go